This is Brett Waltemath of Starwatch Media here at Arclight Cinemas Hollywood for the second season premiere screening of Femme Fatales. Brett with Starwatch Media. It's a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, now can we please hear, we're here for the second season premiere of Femme Fatales. I believe I'm in the third episode called Trophy Wife. Something I kind of uh, have got a, a niche for. <laughs> and, and now kind of going along with that title, can, does that kind of hint at the role that you play? Or what is the role that you play? Yes, it does. Okay. I play the Trophy Wife. <laughs> And what was that like for you playing that role? What was uh, what was your reaction when you heard about the role? Yeah, I'd played about five trophy wives earlier that year, so I was not surprised. Okay. But it's actually it's really it's a really fun twist at the end. I'm not going to give anything away, but uh, it was really exciting to play. We had some some great actors in it. What was the experience like for you in the filming due to the fact that it's a role that you have played but then you kind of add the twist of just the whole femme fatales and kind of the unique uh, aspect they kind of put on uh, on television? Well, usually when you're playing a femme fatale, it's kind of the back seat. But what I liked about this one is that she's very powerful mm -hmm. and she'll just use any wily ways that she can to get exactly what she wants. Mm -hmm. And I like that. <laughs> I totally responded to that. And also it kind of had a little bit of a a 40s thing. They 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 went kind of old Hollywood with the lighting and the art direction and and the the hairstyle and everything. As a matter of fact, my character was named Veronica. So when I when I knew that, I was like, oh, I could do that Veronica Lake thing. She's actually always one of my idols. So it was kind of fun to really play that up. Well, and they discussed Femme Fatales as kind of being a little bit of a tribute to film noir as well. Did you kind of get that feeling during Absolutely. the... Absolutely. I did. I actually really loved that era. Mm -hmm. um, and it was it was fun to really kind of play up that. Any favorite films from that genre that you can think of? Uh, let's see. To Have and Have Not. Oh, one of my favorites. Is, it, it, it truly is one of those films that I could watch over and over again. Mm -hmm. She was stunning in that movie. Not only was her acting, but the, the the look, the hair, the the attitude, the power that she had, and and again, it was kind of what I based this role off of. Somebody like uh, Lauren Bacall in To Have and Have Not. And, and I, I believe her film debut was in To Have and Have Not. I believe it was. Yeah, she was so young, and and Hem Humphrey Bogart fell madly in love with her there. Uh, so I would say those two ladies, um, Lauren Bacall, and of course Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, really quickly, upcoming projects for you. Uh, let's see. I have a premiere, actually, of uh, For the Love of Money. I play James Conn's wife in that. Wonderful. And that's coming yeah, out. I uh, just finished uh, Relentless Justice uh, down in Alabama, where I play the lead, and I play a mercenary in that. And i got to tell you, I trained for over a month, and I had very big muscles. You probably can't see right now. What you see right now is nothing. <laughs> It was so much fun. Actually, it was that kind of Sarah Connor meets, I don't know, um, Leilani Sorrell. Playing, an playing another very powerful woman. Power is what it's all about for me right now. I'm done with the like, okay, just kick her aside and let her be pretty or let her be the side. No, I want to do the powerful roles. You're the it's woman that. with authority. <laughs> That's right. Watch out, world. Wonderful. <laughs> you look lovely this evening. Thank you so much for the time. Enjoy the screening.